Hello, I'm Michael Connolly. I'm driving in South Los Angeles. I want to take you on a, uh, a tour of, I guess, the inspirational points uh, behind my new book, The Black Box. The Black Box is a story that spans 20 years. Uh, not coincidentally, so is my career as a novelist. My first book, The Black Echo, was published in 1992. A couple months after it came out, the city of Los Angeles exploded in the riots uh, that raked across the city and have left uh, psychic, if not physical, scars for 20 years. Um, I was a reporter at the time, a uh, struggling novelist by night, a uh, reporter by day, and um, I took place or took part in the uh, coverage of the uh, the riots. Uh, we just passed the intersection of Florence and Normandy, which most consider the sparking point of the riots, um, images that are probably burned into the American conscience of, uh, of people being pulled out of their cars and attacked, and, um, and, and it's kind of spread from there. Um, what I wanted to do was write a story that was significant to me, obviously, but also span these 20 years that I've been writing books about Harry Bosch. And so the idea was to um, begin with the riots. So the first section of the black box takes place in this area with Harry Bosch working um, uh, homicides during the riots. There were 53 deaths during the riots. Some were out and out murders, some were self-defense and so forth. Um, a lot of different kind of cases, but it was not only a surrealistic time in the city, but also uh, a strange time to be a homicide cop because of the dangers involved and, and the quickly moving from case to case. Um, I have several uh, sources, I guess, or you'd say friend, or I'd say friends in the police department, homicide detectives, who work these cases, and so I spent some time with them researching it and came up with this story. Um, and so the first section of the book starts 20 years ago at a crime scene, a murder scene in an alley not too far from Florence and Normandy. And uh, we're with Harry as he works that case and then we come back to Harry 20 years later, 2012, uh, when he looks back into that case which has never been solved. This is Crenshaw Boulevard which runs north from Florence and I chose this for the crime scene area uh, because this is um, the turf of the rolling 60s Crips gang, which by all accounts in the early 90s was the most dangerous and violent street gang in South LA. And so the setup, which is fictional, that I created and put into this real uh, moment in history of the riots is that um, up in an alley off of Crenshaw, a journalist, a photojournalist uh, from a foreign country named Annika Jesperson is found uh, about 10 feet in from the alley, shot to death, and her cameras and so forth are gone. Um, this is the alley here. And Harry Bosch and his uh, partner, Jerry Edgar, are called out. They have a military escort from the the Army Reserves were called in to, to help protect police and to help restore um, uh, security in the city. And they come in here to try to conduct a uh, crime scene investigation under the conditions of the city burning, about gunshots in the air, very surrealistic, very difficult, and very um, uh, dangerous, uh, unsecure. And so they're doing this, and they're trying to go quickly, and then they get called to another murder, and it's very disappointing to Harry, dis disheartening, because he knows, he almost knows this will never get solved, because we have to go, the crime scene's going to disappear, and it's just not the way to do it. Uh, but he does make one finding before he leaves um, this alley, and that is he finds the shell casing of the bullet that killed Annika, and he obviously collects it, it gets put away into evidence. He gets taken off the case. They created this thing called the Riot Crimes Task Force after the riots to take over all the investigations. So it was taken away from Harry. But in 2012, he comes back to this case because it remains unsolved. And that one moment or that one thing that he found, the, the shell casing, that leads him in a direction in which he believes he can solve this case. 
after all this time. Um, and that's kind of the coin of the uh, of the realm or the, the redemption that Harry seeks because it's a case that's stuck with him. He knows it could have been solved or should have been solved and uh, it never was. And 20 years later, he's going to see to it that it does get solved.